So hey y'all, it's not the morning. I can't say good morning, but yeah, we woke up pretty late today. Oh my god. This one. <laughs> get it, L. Get it, L. Hey, get it, baby. That is our little dancer right there. He just dance and dance and he love music. I'm gonna start using this camera more like when I'm in the house because yo, I'm getting tired already holding it though. This is a real big camera. I don't want to start using it because the quality though, like it's it's just going away. Like I don't ever hardly use it. I use it for like my beauty videos, but I don't hardly use it um on this channel. So I'm gonna start using this. I'm mad that I missed FedEx today. I'm finna get back active on my beauty channel or whatever. So I received some hair and I missed the package. So I either have to go pick it up later on today or just wait till tomorrow. I probably just wait because the pickup location is 30 minutes away. And I just ain't got time for that. But yeah, I can't wait, y'all. I'm gonna get some inches. Oh, oh, I'm glad I decided to go ahead and start working again. Because I want to keep my hair in protective styles anyway. I got that like postpartum hair. It's just, it need to be braided up and left alone. So, yeah, I'm gonna get my little inches. I'm gonna do me a little sewing. You know, I'm gonna be a little ratchet cute, whatever. <laughs> this is my life with two babies now. <laughs> And I'm getting the hang of it. Let me just say, for real, like, thank y'all so much. Um, just reading y'all comments and support and reading y'all stories. Like, when y'all share y'all stories with me. What's the matter? What's the matter with him? What's wrong with him, Al? You want to give him a kiss? Make him feel better? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so nice. He is so sweet to him. <laughs> Oh, you want you want to kiss him more? Sorry, he doing that cause he got poop. He got to poop. Okay, baby, gotta be gentle. <laughs> he loves his little brother, don't you? Such a good big brother. And oh, look, Alexander got his hair cut. Oh. Whoa! You hear that? He poop. Did you hear him poop? Ugh. But yes, y'all, look, my baby got his hair cut. I cut it yesterday. So cute. Looking like a little boy. Look at you, Al. Look at you. Looking so cute with your hair cut. While recording me cutting his hair. What? Oh, you wanted to see the camera. You wanted to be the, the star of the vlog. Oh, you just want your baby brother. You don't care about me. I'll sit on the ground with you so we can talk and you can kiss your brother. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> so yeah, I recorded it too, so it'll be up on my beauty channel. Like the whole process, ah. the whole process of ah. cutting his hair and everything. It was so fun. Ah. It was so hard to do. It took me like a lo whole long time. Like I had the two by myself, so I had to take so many breaks. But we got it done. He looking all nice. Looking nice. Yeah, you look nice. You looking older with your hair cut. Aww. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh my God, I be all off track. Oh, I was saying thank y'all. <laughs> See, I'm all over the place. But I just want to thank y'all so much for like everybody commenting and sharing their stories and just giving support. Like, y'all don't even know. Like, I really, really, really from the bottom of my heart appreciate it. And um, I've been feeling better the last couple of days. Just thankful that I, I feel a lot better. And a part of me feeling better just been talking, talking on camera about it. A lot of it has been um, me doing things, me doing things to help myself, like as far as getting out the house, trying to do things I like, and just trying to take care of my body, take care of myself. So, yeah, I'm trying to get a routine down with these two. So, um, it's, yeah, definitely an, an adjustment. But I feel like, you know, we I'm get, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Because this is a whole new life with two kids. Yeah. And we got a new life. You got a baby brother. Mommy got two babies. <laughs> Off the kitchen floor, silly. 
Look at your hair. I think I want to cut it somewhere. Like, just go ahead and cut the top off. I tried to keep like a little hair, but he said no. So, never mind. <laughs> you eating your lunch? Is it good? <laughs> and this one is still knocked out. He looks so comfortable. It's like so cold in here with the air on. I'm like bundled up in my covers and he just looks so comfortable right now. Like, wouldn't you just love to be swaddled like this? Yeah, so we just chilling. Not really nothing is up. I was gonna cook today. I should go ahead and cook. I think I'm gonna cook some, um, like a shrimp stir fry. I might do noodles though, instead of rice. Cause we always do rice, but I might change it up. Yeah, we'll, we shall see what, how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? But right now I'm being real lazy, like cuddled up on the couch. And it's been pretty a pretty not productive day. I got my hair in the mail. I got my hair in the mail. And y'all, I got some really long hair. And <laughs> I swear on my whole life that I would never wear hair this long. And I probably would not wear it. Um, I just really got this hair to do something creative and fun because it's 26 inches. 26. I'm 5'1. Mm -mm, like that, that's just way too long. But it'd just be something fun for me to do. Something creative, something different on my channel. So um yeah, I'm still uh binge watching the Cosby show. <laughs> I love the Cosby show. Like it just put me in a good mood. Y'all know them shows that just you make you feel real nostalgic and just Make you feel real good, like bring back memories. This is one of those shows for me. I um rescue, went to I um Alexander. Oh my god, I keep getting these boys' names mixed up. Like, girl. Anyway, Isaac's two week appointment was today, so he's doing really well. He gained another pound and something, so he's like seven pounds. I gotta look at the sheet again. He's like seven pounds now, so yay, he gained that weight. I made an appointment. I'm so proud of myself. And I was honest on my little postpartum depression questionnaire. And um, yeah, I didn't lie this time because I I remember taking this questionnaire when I was um after I gave birth to Alexander and I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Like I don't need, you know, I don't need to talk to nobody. But I was completely honest on this one. Definitely recommended me to um, make an appointment with the therapist and everything. So I did. And I'm just really happy that I did because I feel like I'm taking a step to help myself like and it's it just like what's the point in lying if they offering these services if they you know they offering help it's like you might as well take it like you know take what you can from it so i'm just really proud of myself because i'm the type of person who runs from stuff like this like i'm the type of person who is kind of reluctant to ask for help i had to talk myself out of that i feel like this is a huge step for me just in my womanhood like me doing something different and <laughs> it's like because i never went and talked to a therapist before and i should have because i dealt with a lot in my childhood like that's a whole nother story i dealt with a lot um in my childhood and i should have went to a therapist and it's nobody's fault or anything but i should have gotten help definitely should have talked to somebody professionally i wanted to talk about that too because I grew up in a Christian household, you know, we went to church and everything like that. And I just feel like there's a lot of stigma in the Christian community with like depression and stuff. And I'll give y'all an example. I was talking to one of my hair clients, this was like a while ago, maybe a couple years ago. So we were talking about depression. She was a, you know, full uh, believer, Christian and all that. What? And she was telling me like, you know, depression is of the devil and... You just got to pray that away. And that struck a nerve in me. Not so much as like, girl, like I wasn't mad about it, but it's just like, dang, like, you know, to a certain extent, it can be definitely helpful, helpful if that's what you do. A lot of, some people don't pray. Like me right now, in my religion, I don't really want to talk about it too much because I, I'm kind of at a odd place with myself and with my religion because I don't really have a religion right now. But <laughs> that's a whole other story too. A lot of people in the black community and in the Christian community and a lot of different religions, they don't believe in like mental health. You know, actual science sometimes behind it. And that is like, you can do more than just pray. And I'm not saying 
anything is wrong with praying. I think that is a beautiful thing, like to have a prayer, to have a prayer life, and to believe in prayer, and to have faith in your prayers. I don't. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that at all. But what I am saying is, we have to walk away from the stigma that, like, you know, you ain't got depression. Like, you don't need to be on medication. You don't need to go talk to a therapist. You just need to pray. I just feel like I don't know the word for it, but I feel like that belittles what a lot of people go through. Cause I, I dealt with depression during my childhood. I remember I would just cry. I would just I was a really, really sad kid. And you probably I don't know if people could tell, but it was always at night. I would just cry. And now looking back on it, I know it was depression because of what I went through during my childhood. It just ate me up. I was so confused. I was so sad. I was just so depressed as a kid. Depression's of the devil. She it made me feel and a lot of people think like that. It just made me feel like well Dang, like, is I'm the devil or something? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understood where she was, where she was coming from, but I feel like we need to get away from that stigma and um in these certain communities. Where mental illness is a real thing, and if I feel like if there's resources and there's people and there's medicines or whatever the case may be, that we should utilize anything we can to you know, be in a healthy state of mind. Like, sorry y'all, my camera done went dead. But like I was saying, through my experience, I just wanted to spread awareness to mental health and mental illness. It's good to take care of your mental health as well as it is to take care of your spiritual health. So yeah, that was just my thoughts for tonight. But um, that's about it for today. See y'all later.